My garden is a complete mess. I'm not utilizing the space I have. I'm not really growing much right now. I didn't succession plant or properly plan so that my beds could be filled at all times. I'm living in Northern California, Grow Zone 10A, where you can pretty much grow all year round and I haven't been taking advantage of that. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you just hate people who just talk negative all the time and just sh say what's going wrong instead of what's going right. And I could choose to focus on what I didn't do or what I didn't get done, or I can shift my focus to what I actually did do and get done and what I will do moving forward. And I choose to do just that because what you focus on grows. So this season, this time I am putting myself on a challenge a grow your own greens challenge and the reason why I'm calling it grow your own greens even though I'm going to be growing more than greens is because that was our biggest issue um, not getting enough nutrition because we are so used to eating our own greens from the garden and when I wasn't growing them and I wasn't succession planning we weren't really eating them because when I would go to the grocery store and buy the greens they would just rot in the refrigerator because they tasted horrible. Even my husband was like, this has no flavor. I am not eating that. I'll wait until you grow whatever, right? So what I did do, because it's going to take, you know, six weeks or so for the greens to mature is I started my growing back microgreens because they only take um, 10 to 14 days. In the meantime, I'm continuing to start seeds. I'm planning um, my secessions so that we could have greens all year long and I want you to join me so if you haven't started growing anything I do have a complete video on how to grow food that you should watch first if you've never started any seeds or anything like that but in this video I'm just going to show you what I am growing and how I plan on uh, secession planning I'll, I'll, I'll share with you as I go along how I plan on succession planning but for now let's just get our seeds started I'm just going to share with you um, hopefully you'll join me for this challenge some of the things that I'm growing I'm not just growing greens but the reason why I'm calling it that is because that was a big issue and I'll tell you later we'll talk about it later but I, right now I'll just show you I can't do this with so let's just show you what I'm actually going to be starting. So I've started some seeds already. I start my seeds in these 72 seed trays. I've already poked a hole in the middle. And then I use these little sheets. I'm show, I have a video on showing you how I do this. I number the trays. This is number eight. So I have another number eight. So I need to, I'll know what it is though. But anyway, I use these little trays and now some things that didn't germinate, I'm going to start those again, which are some people in the kale family. And I'm hoping because I think I think I ran out of some of the kale that I that didn't do good. So last and not all, this is some old seeds. I need to do red Russian again. I have this. I did this already, but I may do some more. Um, have this one this one did good as far as germination and then this is my favorite kale so I need to start some more of those and yep so I don't have any oh let me see please God please oh I only got a couple okay so and the thing about the brassicas especially the kale oh I only got a few I gotta order some more seeds so let me make myself a note and then I have a ton of seeds. I'm not sure if you're interested in all the things that I'm going to be growing. Um, but then over here we have pak choy, cabbages. This is what this is going to be about. Okay. This is all cabbages. So I have red acre cabbage. I love red cabbage. Pak choy. This is the purple one. Then I have bok choy, the green one. And then just all different kinds of cabbages. Okay. So... Um, I can't grow all the varieties and this is just, oh, oh honey, got to show you this. Got to show you this. My favorite Brussels sprout. 
they take a long time they take like five months so i should have should have could have would have should have did i should have did all this stuff a while ago but i'm doing it now and i'm just gonna see how far i can get this is not the ideal time this is october this is definitely this should have been started at the end of july so this is definitely not the ideal time to be growing this stuff but i'm going to do it anyway and basically what it's going to do is over winter and it'll start back growing in the um, springtime and lord's will we'll get um, before it gets too hot we'll get some cabbage and brussels sprouts um what else i'm i'm going to be growing is celery 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 and um i do the celeries different than how I put them in here because there's such a small seed. I do my celery and my onions. I use one of these little salad trays like this. Can you see that? Um, you can see that, right? One of these, which you put, the, which you get from, um, get from the grocery store, which hopefully I won't be getting anymore. And I fill it, you know, halfway with the soil, and then I sprinkle my seeds. And that's how I do my celery and my onions. And any really, really tiny seeds that I have, that is the best way that I do it. Um, if you're interested in seeing how I do that, let me know. It's not that deep. So I also have turnips. So turnips is a root vegetable, but we also eat the greens. I have, um, who is he? Um, kohlrabi. All right. And rutabaga is one of my favorites. Oh my God, I didn't even know I liked rutabaga until I started growing it. I never bought it from the grocery store. Lord's will, I never will. Radish, a bunch of radishes. Um, you can direct sow your radishes. And I'm probably gonna do both since I'm so late. I'm not gonna sow any more Swiss chard. I don't think so right now. It is self-seeding in the garden already. And then I have, these are some of my favorite cool season greens. My favorite, y'all. I'm going to show y'all, honey. My favorite cool season greens. So this is my husband's favorite because it's spicy. We got some of that going. Vates collards. Old timey blue from seeds that I saved. Um, this is another collard. I've never grown this before. Um, Mizuna. This is so good to put in salads. It looks just like that, like celery. It doesn't taste like celery, though. Um, Tatsoi. This is some good stuff right here. If you like pak choy, you'll love tat soy. <laughs> Jimmy G Sai, might be pronouncing that wrong. Chi Jimmy Sai, whatever, honey. How you say it? What you say? This is my new favorite green. It is delicious. It is so good. It's ridiculous. And then this one is a mustard green, but it it has it grows like bok choy. It has a very thick stem, so you can um yeah, and then yeah. I I haven't tried this one yet. I grow it and then I don't eat it. I don't know why I'm scared because it's a chrysanthemum. I'm not sure why. I keep growing it and then I don't eat it. <laughs> anyway, what else do I have? A few other things. Um, definitely lettuce. So I'm going to tell you about lettuce. Me and my experience with lettuce. When the seeds are old, they don't freaking germinate. So this was a seed variety that I got for free. And this one is fresh and it germinated a heck of a lot. I'm going to start those again. It looks nice, doesn't it? It looks like a romaine. A lot of you don't know that lettuce is cut and come again. Mostly all your greens are. Um, Merlot, Merlot did good. Okay, all the new seeds did. The seeds that are older than a year. Also, when you buy your seeds, by law, they're required to um, sell you only seeds that were... Um, packed in that year so you want to make sure right and then arugula so sales red sales now this one i got last year but he did good so anyway slow boat this is another one for the crunch cimarron this is very good um deer tongue did this is a good lettuce but it this is old seeds and they have not germinated so i need a new seed pack ruby red all right um so anyway a ton of different lettuces that these are these lettuces need to be started every two to three weeks so we don't run out the other thing that i could sow that i'm going to sow is my fava beans and this is not the variety i like actually i have 
I saved my seeds now. But sugar snap peas, in which I have a ton of different varieties in here. King Tut is one of my favorites because it's the oldest pea known to man and it just happens to be purple. Uh, so those have to be so I got a lot of stuff to do, okay? So I really ain't got time to be talking to y'all. But I'm hoping that and then beets, of course. So I already have started a ton of beets. So I'm not gonna I am gonna secession plant, but I'm gonna wait until I've started everything else to come back with the beets. But I will show you a couple of varieties. I'm going to show you one that I think is very interesting. This one is my favorite, Chioga. Because if you don't really like beets, beets, this is very sweet, but you get that redness. And they all are good. Beets, they don't taste like, if you don't like beets in the grocery store, which I don't, they taste nothing like that. Uh, bull's blood. Okay, but I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Hold on. I want to show you something. Oh, where is it? I might have ran out of seeds. And I anyway, I'll just tell you what it was. It's sugar beets. They're white beet, and I want to grow my own sugar. So I actually need to order some more of those as well. I want to grow my own sugar, and I'm going to use sugar beets, Lord will. So. Let me get started with all this, honey, because I am, and this is why I like to do the 72 seed trays, because you see all these seeds. I haven't even showed you everything that I want to grow. And then in the last category is, um, not the last category, but the one that's on this table, is parsnips. I tried to grow these last year, and I waited too late. The seeds only last a year, so if you don't sow these seeds this season, they won't be any good. And then carrots. Um, so I'm going to do carrots. I got all kind of carrots. You see that? Okay. I'll just show you some. Um, Alright, so I get most of my seeds from either in my gardener or rare seeds. In my gardener or rare seeds. Rare Seas is the same thing as Baker Creek. I should just start saying Baker Creek, so that's what's on the envelope. All right, so I'm going to get to it. Car carrot seeds, all these are direct sow these. They do not like to be started in containers, so they got to go out and be direct sown. But so I'm going to sow, I'm going to start my seeds now. And I already have a video on how I start my seeds, so I'm not going to bore you with that. I just kind of wanted to show you what I'm going to be doing. And then I need to make a um, documentation of when I'm going to start my uh, seeds again. Like, what am I going to start? Or when am I going to start them again? And yes, the same variety of seeds so that I can have a continuous... If I want to have a continuous harvest, I need to be continuously sowing. So I hope that helps with what all I am growing um, this fall. And I live in zone 10A in Northern California. You can grow all year round here. Um, if we get a frost, if we get a frost, it's a very, very light frost. And all of these um, cool season crops, they're frost tar hardy. And so they will just slow down in their growth and then pick right back up um, like the next month or two later. All right, Rainy One, so I am going to leave a ton of links in the description for you especially the detailed video that I did on how I start my seeds but basically it's just two to three seeds per cell tray if you're using a different type of container it's still two to three seeds now for me when it comes to the lettuce that I've the older seeds that I have I'm going to put a lot more seeds in the um, cells just to ensure germination but once they germinate then I transplant them but if you're going to be on this journey with me just stay tuned and I'll show you the next phase um, if you have any questions, just put them in the description. Do not put them in whatever group we may be in um, that you know me from. Please put any questions that you have in this description of this video. Um, the one thing that I did want to, um, rem I'm going to put a link in there for this product, but most of the things we're going to be growing is going to be brassicas and they, their enemy is the cabbage moth, the cabbage worm. And honey, they will eat, they lay these little, the moth lay these little worms and they will eat your babies as soon as you, as soon as they um, germinate. So there's something called um, BT, it stands for, 
I can't pronounce it, Bacillus thuringiensis. Okay, there we go. And it is a natural bacteria. So you can use that if you're an organic grower. And this really helps to keep the, um, the population down. So um, I'm gonna put the link to that, the one I use in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you um, start this journey with me. If you have any questions, put them in the description. Put them in the description, put them in the comments and then check out the descriptions. Stay raining. Thank you.